Hello and welcome to my first Cinema 4D tutorial and uh, today we are going to create my uh, breaking text uh, collision uh, thing <laughs> yeah uh, I will just show you the video here kinda cool not that hard actually um, so uh, I got a lot of uh, requests to uh, here we see how do you do that tutorial uh, hey, can you release the project file uh, tutorial um, and so on and so on so I decided uh, I will do it uh, so we open up cinema 4d uh, but before we start I will say that I'm not going to um, uh, make this scene look too nice because I'm very limited in time. I will just set up the scene and the mechanics. Uh, also, I will um, be using a plugin called Throwsy to break the text apart. Uh, it is a free plugin, and I will add the link in the description. So look out for that. Uh, also, if you enjoy this, please give it a rating. Uh, it helps me a lot. Uh, I'm kind of new to this, so I need some ratings. <laughs> um, also, if there is any other kind of tutorial you want me to do, uh, please leave a comment and I will look into it. Um, so, we are going to start off by oh, adding a plane just dragging it up a little bit here um, then we are going to add some MoGraph text I'm going to put it in the middle and I am going to write gradient design uh, adding some depth to it 35 is good and I will add another font it is the font that I use in the original video and I will add the download link in the description as well. I need to drag out that a little bit. And I will duplicate the MoGraph text object and I will drag the copy a little bit up. So it is here. This is the text that will fall down on the um, text on the floor. I will just write, say, cool text just for fun um, and uh, we are ready to add some color now as I said I'm not going to spend a lot of time making this look good because it takes a lot of time uh, if you want me to do a tutorial on how to make this look good I can do a separate one just let me know we are going to add two materials because uh, the this the blue one if you apply to the uh, second material will be the inside so it will be seen when we break the text as in my video it was kind of um, chrome you can see uh, let's get a better shot here like here it's the inside of the other text this chrome pieces like here uh, and the other will, the red one, the um, one most to the right will be uh, the outside. So I'm just going to add red and blue so you can see the difference. Um, and I will do a blue on you. Now we are ready to break the text. Um, just going to rename here. So how you do it is go to plugins, Throwsy and just Throwsy and I will use Voronoi and I will do about 10 pieces. You can do more. Uh, I think I did about 20 in my original video but uh, it makes my computer go so slow. So I will do an example with 10 uh, and you just hit break now. And we can see the uh, Throwsy plugin working on the text here, splitting it apart. It goes pretty quick, so 
Um, it's just to wait. Um, other things to keep in mind when doing this is it's often a good idea to save often because this trousers plugin is just in beta mode and often it will crash but it looks okay for me here oh my throat is killing me <clears throat> so here we have a lot of different pieces this is actually the full letters but if we open up we can see that we have several pieces on each letter 10 pieces as we requested and I will just go ahead and group these so they don't take all that much space gradient and uh, if I now hit play we see that the text will fall this is because the Throwsy plugin automatically adds this dynamic tag, rigid body tag actually, um, and uh, we need that, so we will keep it there. But we will need to mark every single one of them and go into dynamic section and where it says trigger, change it to on collision, and now if we hit play, it stays in its position. And we will need to add one to the floor as well. Rigid body. And we will need one on the uh, text object. The other text object. The one with the cool text. And now we see that the cool text will drop down on the uh, the gradient designs and will and it will uh, break apart but one negative side is that the cool text uh, gets uh, blown apart too so it is not readable what I did is I added a MoGraph fracture object and I put the whole um, text object with the cool uh, text in it and I changed the rigid body tag to be on the fracture object now if we hit play the um, cool text will stay together like that well it fell the wrong way but that shouldn't be too hard to fix uh, you get the basic idea here and um, to get the cool text to uh, fold the right way so it's readable just move it around a little bit so uh, it will react differently with the text let's see if this works you can see my computer has a quite hard time to work with this uh, so many pieces I'll just try to rotate just a little bit there we go looks quite cool I will add 200 frames and um, this is basically it because I am out of time I think um, if you like this please put a like rating if you want more please let me know and please let me know what you want if you want me to do a tutorial on how to light this scene or color it in a better way please let me know that too but for this time I am out peace